what's up y'all so we did this in mexico updated q a we're about to get into this video with your boy clarence nyc you dig um i got my popcorn again skinny pop i'm on my keto shit with my water you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all tap in we're about to be slim vibes you dig yeah What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell yeah, league. So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. What has been your favorite achievement so far? Legend. Why are you so cocky and not humble? I feel like that's the biggest misconception of me. Do niggas hate me? How's it been trying to build your clothing brand? Y'all know how much this shit mean to me. Couldn't even drop on my birthday, and it's like, it's hard, bro. That intro is like for him. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to my main channel. I'm out here in Mexico for my birthday. While I'm out here, I wanted to do a question and answer just with a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? Nice vibe. Only Clarence probably would do something like this. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I wanted to make sure I get at least one video done for y'all. I figured let's do a question and answer. I think the last time I did a question and answer, I believe it was at the penthouse. If I'm not mistaken, when we live in the penthouse. So it's been a little while. So I just wanted to do an updated question and answer for y'all. So I'm not even going to waste any time. Let's get right to it. I actually have to give me some questions on the gram. I think I screenshotted a few, maybe too many. So we're just going to answer as many as we can, you know what I'm saying? But current favorite artist besides Queen and Mod. I would say my favorite artist, that's tough. And I feel like besides Drake, yeah, I know I love Drake and Meek. I love A Boogie. I would say St. John. Besides those people that I just named right there, I would say St. John. I really like his music. I really love his old aesthetic of his brand. I fuck with his clothes. They actually send me clothes for free um every time they drop so i really do appreciate them i, I, I love i love st john so i, I would probably say st john Ooh, this is a good one top i don't know what that is five best dressers on the gram right now that's tough i would say this is in no order either and i'm leaving myself out of it even though i'm in there you know what i'm saying because i'm for sure in there because i put that shit on but i would say gonna I hey. like how Gunner dresses. Sometimes he be taking risks, but that's because he's from Atlanta and Atlanta niggas take risks. But it, it don't be bad risk. It's just risk. That should be terrible. That we we call it risk because we've never seen it before. But that should be, he be putting that shit on. I think Diara is one of the best dresses, Absolutely. male and female. Like just she the way fine. she puts shit together is hard. Who else? I think Jada. Jada definitely puts that shit fine. on. I'm not gonna lie, I have to put a little baby in there. Like, I know he's not like a dresser, but like, that nigga fly. Like, the nigga got so much money, like, you just gotta put. I ain't gonna lie, little baby, that nigga. But when it comes to his clothes, <coughs> like, even when it comes to how you put that shit on for me. And he just, he, he, it's, he have it on, but he don't put that shit on. If that makes any sense, I don't like it. Put that nigga in there. You gotta put that nigga in the top five. Like, you can say you're happy that shit that nobody got. Who else? Is there any YouTubers? I don't know. I think I'm, I don't know. I know for sure, I, don't, I know for sure I'm the flyest YouTube. So I don't even know if there's any YouTubes I would throw in there, respectfully. But yeah, I would leave it, I'll probably leave it there. But let me know in the comment section if y'all agree or not, or if y'all disagree. But I feel like I, I have a very firm grip on fashion, and if like those people I just named, they really throw that shit on. Am I missing somebody? I don't want to miss somebody. If I'm missing somebody, Pierre was the only one. I don't. And again, this is not an order. He just should have. He should have went and put himself on there, cause that wasn't it. Uh, bro. There's a lot of people on the gram that can dress like. You know what I mean? Those are just the people that come to my mind off rip. So let's just go to the next question. My girl throw that shit on too. I was gonna say queen too, fashion. but shit. I didn't think you know he was saying? gonna You can tell the people that care about fashion. Did you and Queen once not love yourselves or did y'all always have self-love? I can't answer that question for Queen. I can answer that question for myself, but I think there was a point that I, I really didn't, I really didn't love myself i think when i was in the hood doing the things i was doing 
you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get by and hustle, get every dollar I can. I don't think I was truly loving myself because I, I feel like all I was doing was like fucking girls and just worrying about money. Not really worrying about money because I was getting money, but like those are the two things I really cared. Like it fulfilled me. Like if I got money, it fulfilled me. If I, if, if I fucked this girl, it fulfilled me, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of grew out of that, like, put doesn't mean anything to me anymore, like, you know what I'm saying, I try to, like, preach that to my friends and to, like, bro, that shit, that shit don't get you nowhere, you know what I'm saying, you you a loyal girl, a good girl that can take you to another level, that's the best thing you've ever you know what I'm saying, but I think that was a time I, I didn't love myself, you know what I'm saying, and, um, yeah, I love myself now, like, you can tell, and I feel like once I started loving myself, too, it's like, people don't like when you love yourself. People, you just think highly of yourself. People you hate when you don't love yourself. They hate that shit. And I'm noticing that more because y'all, I got so tired of saying, I'm going to be humble. And the thing with humble is you put yourself in the whole humble box. Y'all know I never come on here and say anybody's bro. I never come on here and act like I'm holier than that. I would never come on here and act like y'all smaller than me. But that's not the only definition of humble. You When you say you're going to be humble, you take away your confidence on who the fuck you really are because you're trying to be humble for other people. No. <clears throat> I'm done with that shit. Bitch, I'm the shit. Can't nobody tell me no different. And I'm about to take my whole life up a whole nother level because I didn't realize how lit I was. Or maybe I did and wasn't trying to live in my litness. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. And you don't have to have money for that. I don't have this nigga money. I don't, I don't have none, nobody, none of their money. But I'm still that nigga though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to start acting like it. I've already started, but I'm about to turn the fuck up. 2022 is my year, bro. Nobody will ever, ever, ever be able to take that away from me. I don't care what happens. I don't care how many times I fall. I don't give a fuck about none. 2022, 222 is my year. I have seen 222 all year long. I never miss it. I'm not going to lie. If I do miss it, I see 333, bitch. I just seen 555 uh, when it was 5 o'clock. I always stop the time on 111. Like, 2022 is my fucking year, okay? And it's going to show. Ain't even got to just be with money. My confidence. I'm going to lose this 30 pounds. I'm going to stick to this motherfucking diet. I'm going to stick to what I say I'm going to do, you know? Thing, you're him like I think I'm him and people may disagree people may agree but it's really just my opinion that matters you know what I'm saying right. to be but yeah I can definitely say you can say that you know what I'm saying definitely for all my supporters that are struggling with that struggling with loving themselves and, and just self-love man make sure you take time out to, to definitely just love on you for sure it makes a whole big difference what has been your favorite achievement so far I would say legend being a father is like the greatest job I'm gonna ever get. You know what I'm saying? I shit. Ain't no feel like it. I don't make a hundred thousand. And it still doesn't feel like when I pick Legend up in the morning out of his crib and we both go downstairs, eat some sea moss, and I give him some oranges. Like, ain't no feeling like that, man. I'll pick that over the bag anytime. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's my greatest achievement so far. Did you ever think you were going to be where you are right now in life? I've never imagined it this far, especially with the things that we have coming and I have coming for you guys. I've never imagined it this far at all. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to hot. I'm going to be that hot. I need a little... You got to cool. Rinse off. But, yeah, I never imagined it this far, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I think when I was in the hood, I really imagined just me having all the girls, all the speakers and shit, all the clothes. I was thinking very small, you know what I'm saying? I never Facts. pictured this. Never pictured, like, <laughs> I'm on the rooftop of my suite right now. This is the roof. There's a pool on the roof. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is. Yeah, nah, that was some wild shit. Wild. That's some wild shit.
you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever pictured it to be this far, and I, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Favorite thing about your relationship with Mod? Mod is just my nigga, bro. That's my nigga for life. That's not even my nigga, bro. That's my brother. Just the way he's always there for me. I know you guys like to think a little different. Um, but Mod has never asked me for anything. Mod has never expected anything from me. Like, all he expects from me is to be his friend. You know what I'm saying? And where I'm at in life right now and the blessings that I have, it's like... I feel like a lot of the times people expect from me, man. Like it's like, it's. I ain't gonna lie, that's the most valuable shit you can have. A nigga not ask you for nothing. And I believe him. Cause Mod has told stories about how they been in LA and the nigga was on his last dollar. Nobody knew, but he ended up coming up with uh, extra money out of nowhere, which is crazy because that's, that's one thing about them damn Virgos. They don't like asking for nothing. And it's like, niggas, them fucking Virgos stress me out. Because y'all rather, <clears throat> y'all rather struggle. And I'm talking about not struggle like I, I get paid in a few days, I'll be okay. Y'all rather struggle like, <clears throat> shit, nigga, I ain't getting a check till May. And it's fucking December. But I ain't tripping. I'm going to thug it out. <laughs> like, nigga, it's December. You got about six months. <laughs> To get some money, you know what I'm saying? But I do, I respect that shit. I don't not explain the feeling, man. The feeling, it can get very down. It can, it can bring you down. It could like, it's cause like, why can't like, sometimes I just need a friend. Like I don't need somebody expecting from me or wanting from me, you know? I just sometimes need a friend and that's what mod is to me. He's just always a friend. I don't need nothing from him. I just need him to be my friend, my brother, you know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like since day one, he's been that. And I love him for that, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. And y'all better lay low on my nigga mod, bro. Y'all be giving him a lot of hate, a lot of like negative energy, Mo. And he's just such a positive person. I just think he's in a time where he's like I, how I was. I think he's trying to find himself and trying to find what works and trying to, and through that, you got to let people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like we all make mistakes. I still make mistakes. And you guys be so hard on my mans and and all he want to do is just win. You know what I'm saying? But build my, my guy, Canon G7 or Sony ZV-1. I mean, y'all can tell me, I'll let you know what I think. I think the Sony ZV- That's Sony ZV-1, I'm getting it. What's this, honey's house? Girl, it's the motherfuckers of us. Fuck. I'm about to say, bitch. Nah, hold on, let me show you. That I thought would come. So you got time to I mean, she didn't ask for them, I don't know if she didn't ask me. Is it? Is it two But okay. okay. I got my uh, screen protector game, but it's coming again tomorrow. Oh shit, fuck it, take two. Oh, he wanted better than the G7X. <laughs> I've used the G7X okay. for about three years. About, I used G7X for two years. I ain't gonna lie, the first year I loved it. But that second year, gotta go. I bought a Sony ZV1 this year and I love it. It's a I have a friend um that has the Sony ZV1 when I went to. Uh, LA, shout out to my bitch Kimmy and her nigga, um, Sonny. That's my guy. But Sonny wanted to talk to me about that fucking Canon Z ZV1. And he, it just shits on the Canon G7X. And I used to tell everybody, when you first start YouTube, get a Canon G7X. No, 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 no. Get a, a Sony ZV1. We're going to get one. But TT just paid $700 for this fucking Canon M50. And the Canon M50 cool, but no, <laughs> not, no, actually it's not <laughs> like it don't, the, um, focus on it 
Oh, it'd be pissing me off. The focus and the ISO. And y'all might think I'm speaking Spanish right now because y'all might not know what I'm talking about. But it'd be pissing me off. Amazing. It's a YouTube camera. It's not it like is, just though. a camera. It's a YouTube camera. Like, it's for YouTube. Like, so simple. It's not difficult to use. You know what I'm saying? I love it. But y'all can be the judge of that. How does these hey, recent videos look compared to the old videos? Y'all don't know. When did you know Queen was the one? I knew Queen was the one. It's that feeling, bro. It's that feeling when I've never, ever, no girl has ever made me feel. I can't return a friend. It's been a minute. Like this. You know what I'm saying? Like four months. Queen makes me feel like the sexiest thing in the world. Like, oh, and this is going to be real open right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like y'all really don't get a lot of open parents, and I'm about to be open. Queen make me feel like the sexiest nigga in the world. You know what I'm saying? Queen make me feel like the richest nigga in the world. Queen make me feel like I'm the only nigga in the world. You know what I'm saying? No girl has ever made me feel like that. And it's just, it's an amazing feeling. Especially in talking to my fellas, man. You find a girl that make you feel like that, man. <laughs> The end is limitless. Like, the sky is the limit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can do anything. You know what I'm saying? And she trusts me. She's not, like, she's not, like, proud of me. Like, you know, she's not, like, everybody stay away. Like, she wants me to do good. You know what I'm saying? She allows me to be me and be free. That's one of the main things, too. Make mistakes. And... I appreciate her for that, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love her for that. I'm not gonna lie, selfless person. You know what I'm saying? Makes me selfless. She's just an amazing person, bro. If you've ever met Queen, you know, bro. One of the sweetest people you ever meet. He ain't never lied. So sweet. It was pissing me off. I'm like, why are you so goddamn nice? <laughs> you know how you meet somebody nice? You be like, why are you so nice? It'll make you question them. But. She need tough people around her. So if everybody could, they'd take advantage of her. Well, I don't know about now. Uh, it don't seem like it anyway, but yeah. Fuck that. I promise. But yeah, that, that's really when I knew. It was probably when we first started talking, like in the beginning, when we was just friends. Like that's how she made me feel. You know what I'm saying? She put the utmost belief in me. She believed in me. You know what I mean? And not everybody does that. But yeah, definitely a special woman. Do you want more kids with Queen? For sure. I know I'll be trolling y'all and I'll be y'all be mad at me when I say nah nah no more. I just I feel like no we can't have no more kids right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause we're to do crazy things. But for sure, I do want more, for sure. I think I probably want like I don't know if Queen wants to hear this, but I think I want like two more, maybe. I would love another son and one girl. Like, I would love another son, one girl. And I feel like I'd be good. You know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd be perfect for me. Two boys, one girl, and CJ. That's three boys, one girl. That's like perfect. That's perfect ratio. Yeah, like, that's perfect. Bitches was like, oh, he not even including CJ. Then he said, CJ, he better include CJ. Shut the fuck up. I hope this footage is not like windy, but, you know. That's why you gotta have the, th the thing over your mic, like Queen be having. Oh, yeah. I had to go get that little thing to cover. Oh, he got it. I want to make sure y'all not hear a wind and shit, but, we yeah, heard it. definitely would like some more kids. I don't think Queen wants to hear that, but, you know what I'm saying? Definitely do, but, all right, next question. How is your dad doing? My dad is doing good. I talked to him yesterday. He's doing good. He's just not used to being in the find restrictions and he's a man that wants to be free and you know totally free you know but he has to wait and see what happens but he's doing good yeah thank you guys for asking really do appreciate that what's the kinkiest thing you've done with queen i think the kinkiest thing gotta be in here i uh, knew it uh, <laughs> i knew skinny it dipping. we went skinny dipping first night we got here and things happened you know what i'm saying things escalated you know what I'm saying? Things definitely escalated. But how could it not? You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I would have had her head in them in them trees. Yeah. Looking at thing from the back. Anybody can be like, hey, how y'all doing? I'll be like, we're doing great. <laughs> what could you talk about? <laughs> That's the best place right now. I'm trying to take, put her ass on that wood, girl. Look at this. I don't even know if y'all can see this, but look at oh, this. Oh, we can see. Like, how could it not escalate? Look at this. Oh, no, we doing it. Oh, her head can. Like, yeah, how could it not? How could it not? She should have been over. She should have been bent over over that wood, bro. 
think that no one has ever done a question and answer like this. But it's your boy, one and only. You know what I'm saying? The next question, this is being a long ass video. How did you and do you adjust to being in the spotlight? <clears throat> I think I really didn't have to adjust because I've always been kind of a private person, but I did have to adjust a little bit on being too private. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're too private, it's like, how do you expect people to like fall in love with you? If you're like so private, you know what I'm saying? Like even rappers, when it comes to rappers, they're not private. They're rapping about their life. They're rapping, they're saying certain things. Like they get really emotional in them songs and they basically pour their heart out in this music. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with YouTube, especially YouTube. I feel like I can't be totally private. You can't be totally. You can't be private at all on this beat. So off spoken, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I've gotten a lot better with that. I feel like in the beginning, I was just being so private because that's what I'm used to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even want people knowing what I did or what I used to do or what I've done, you know what I'm saying? I thought people were going to judge me, but now I like really don't care. I come from not, not so, you know what I'm saying? And I really don't care what people think of me. Yeah, I came from the basement, I lived in the basement. You know what I'm saying? Of my mom's house, you know what I'm saying? In the Bronx, New York. Yes, there's a lot of rats. There's a lot of... You feel me? But that's where I come from, and I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if without that, I probably wouldn't even be here. Truthfully. Next question. Hold on, I got to take a dip, bro. Sweat again. If you could tell your younger self anything, what would it be? Stop giving a fuck. Y'all, when I have walked through the doors, and I'm still going through a couple doors, so I'm not giving a fuck. It takes, it takes some real balls to not give a fuck about what people say, what people think, how you uh, how people make you feel, uh, you know, things like that. It takes some balls for that shit, bro. It do. But I have walked through about three doors of not giving a fuck. And I will say opening up that portal <laughs> was one of the best things I could have ever done. Like... Being, you know, I hate calling it being exposed, but that's what happened. But being exposed was one of the best things that ever, ever, ever happened to me. Um, Because I could live in that truth of who I've become. And I was fighting it so bad. I was fighting it so bad. It was fighting. It was hurting me more than just saying Bitch, yes, I my titties hang low when I take my bra off. And you know what I'm saying? But fighting it, acting like your titties don't hang when you take your bra off, it just don't make sense. Because that's who you are. All right, y'all. I love y'all. When I get off the stream, I'm about to let my titties hang low. That's not some shit I would have said a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I know that was a a, a wild, you know, analogy, but take it or leave it. I'm just happy with not giving a fuck more these days. I am not all the way up in there. But I'm, boy, I'm touching the light. I can see the light, though. No, I can see. <laughs> I would say be patient and live life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the younger me was too worried about being too cool and too, like, like, too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't give a, f I don't give a fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm the coolest. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, like, I was too worried about, like, what people thought. Do people think I'm cool or do people think I'm fly? And I feel like being me in my younger years probably missed out on a lot of experiences and a lot of childhood things just from trying to be too me cool too. or trying me to. Too. I wasted my. I don't want to say my whole 20s. I did not waste my whole 20s. And I need to stop saying that. Um, how old am I? 32. Started YouTube five years ago. Before that. Thank you, friend. Oh. To low-hanging tatas. Period. Let them titties hang low, bitch. Um, started YouTube five years ago. But right before that, I was definitely making some money handling my business doing what I was doing. And, uh... I'm going to say I wasted my years up to 25. All them motherfucking years was wasted. And I was so 
focused on trying to be accepted as a lesbian. And not only that, hanging around niggas with that bumdom that they got going on. That's what I call y'all bumdom. Girl, hanging around a plethora of bums is not it. Okay, but um, just being in that bumdom and like trying to be accepted as a lesbian. But I honestly feel like that was my era because like these younger kids now, like my kids, they could be rich next year. They do, you know, um, which I'm working on. <laughs> Don't you worry. Uh, but they could be rich now just being on TikTok consistently. You get on TikTok, do the right move, bitch, and look uh, look cute. You're rich as hell in a couple months. You you make the right move. That's not how it was when I when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? So my era was didn't have all the access to the internet. And if you did, not too many people knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if your parents didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? And the era of coming out as a lesbian, because before me, everybody was hiding the lesbian thing. So I think it just, it, the way I moved and the way I, I moved, I had no choice. It's like, that was just, what I was gonna go for, you know what I'm saying? But I don't regret it. Be older than I am, or trying to like make it faster than I probably should have, or trying to be successful right away, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be patient and live life, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's for sure, because this life is amazing, you know what I'm saying? You only get one, I'm 28, you can't be, you can't be 25 again, you can't be. 18 again, you know what I'm saying? You gotta live it. You gotta live it while you're there. You know what I'm saying? 20, I'm 28 right now, so I gotta live 28 like it's my last because it is. Word. Next question. How many questions we got left? One, two, three. Yeah. Blue phone, if you could go to any concert in the world, who would it be? And you can't choose Modern Queen. I would again say I would love to go to a St. John concert. Little Uzi concert, a hey. Boogie concert, hey. or oh, a Drake concert would be stupid. Oh, a Drake concert. Kanye. I would have loved to have been at that Kanye and Drake concert. I went to the Donda joint. I loved it. I had a great experience. But yeah, it would probably be those people. A St. John concert would be OD. Especially because I know all the lyrics. Like, you know, I'm not really good with lyrics. So I get to sing word for word. Like, I know it's the song. I just, she'll be hard. Let me know in the comments here. Are y'all fucking with St. John or not? I don't know, know who that I'm is, bro. How you but doing I'm, I'm emotionally, in. mentally, and physically? That's a great question. I'm actually doing very well in all of Walkie talkie. Oh, a Motorola. I had one. Three, you know what I'm saying? I've been taking out some time for myself lately. You know what I'm saying? Trying to become like just more disciplined, which I feel like only helps me. But I feel like I'm in a way better place than I was probably, what, a year and a half ago? You know what I'm saying? A year and a half ago, I feel like I was worrying about fucking hate pages and this. Oh, they, they gonna say this is, oh, this, or this one says this or that. I'm like, oh, nigga, right now, I don't give a fuck. That's why I do my reaction chat. I do whatever video I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And whatever y'all think about it, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? For an example, I went to Chick-fil-A one time and my car declined. The tea pages had something to say about it or whatever. But like, why do I care? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would you right, just go you know for his birthday? My car declined again because the, <laughs> the, the total was like seven <laughs> bands. And I had already spent, I think like 12. For Queen's birthday, I, I spent over 20,000. Like, on just drip, like, you know what I'm saying? I spent like 19,000 on drip, you know what I'm wow. saying? So it's like, what you telling? I was wondering what you spent. Yeah. And I bought her a car, like, you know what I'm saying? On top of the 19K that I spent, why would I care if my car is, you know what I'm saying? And so like my editor had wrote me, was like, yo, you want me to leave that out of it? Cause I already know what they are gonna say. And I'm like, nah, bro, keep that in there. Keep that in there, that's me, that's my content. You know what I'm saying? That shit is funny. Like, I'm not here to hide anything from nobody, you know what I'm saying? And the fact, Come on, my viewers is that a one of one of a hundred and eleven viewers? I yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I've been talking about this for a year. I don't know, but um, yeah, especially if you're rich and your card to get declined, nigga, something happened. It ain't me. It's the bank, bitch. <laughs> I'm, saying, like, I'm gonna be a hundred percent me. You know what I'm saying? I've been a hundred percent me. I feel like for like probably a year now you know what i'm saying i'm totally in love with myself i'm not sitting here changing for nobody or for nobody that doesn't matter you know what i'm saying or it doesn't give me the energy that i need to be who i am if you're not flooding me with the energy i need i really don't care 
know what I'm saying? Even though you may already have everything you want, is there anything that you still kind of want to get? I think I want like two things. I definitely want a house that we own, which we want to build. I really want that for us. And kids, I know they would love it. You know what I'm saying? Create just a good atmosphere for them. And I would also want a family business that we can then pass on to the kids and just let them thrive. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely not letting them grow up and have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So definitely we want a family business, something that can create jobs for family, both hers and mine, and just... Yeah, um, next year as well. I mean, we everything is starting now, but you know, I'm trying to get the hell up out of bag season, uh, so I can get to you know what's important, which is gonna take time. Um, but the kids about to have their own channel. That shit is gonna be lit. Okay, I'm excited about that. Um, fucking, uh, you know, Ray wants to make bracelets and. Uh, London wants to, um, what did London say she want to do? Makeup. Well, I know she wanted to do makeup, but it was something else. I thought was selling, but maybe that's just right. But yeah. She said she wants too. Okay, well, both of them are going to be selling bracelets, but, um, you know, London wants to do makeup and, and things like that. And, and, and I don't know if y'all know, but we just got them, you know, situated you know what i'm saying me and tt met each other we had to go through some things but everything we said we was gonna do bitch we did you know so next year everything i said we're gonna do everything she said we're gonna do we're gonna do <laughs> 2022 of the year i'm telling you okay um i've always dreamed to make sure my kids was straight whether i had them or i was taking care of them i was raised in a household where you know if i'm raising you you mine okay um so you know, I'm going to make sure they straight, you know, before I get up out of here, period. You know what I'm saying? And that is probably the most exciting thing I'm excited about for 2022. I'm not even going to hold you. Because I, I just want to take their life up to a different level. You know what I'm saying? Every day I wake up, I'm thinking about them fucking kids. And, you know, I I be trying my best to multi multitask and talk to them and do what I need to do. You know, I'm working on that shit. But I have good intentions to, you know, make sure they good at all times. Keep it in the family, for sure. Those are two things that I would really want right now. What do you love most about being a dad? Man, just being a dad. Like, I love it. Like, I love the responsibility. Kids in general, like, they love you no matter what. That's They're not the fact. internet. They just, like, love you, bro. That's like, the way their eyes light up when they see Yo. you pick them up from school or... And I'm not even dealing with little ones. So I, I can only imagine what that would be like. Which is something that, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I feel like I'm yearning for. I need to make a video about that. But, girl, either it's my my ovaries or my, uh, my hormones... I'm getting older. I don't know, but I really be getting a feeling of like, I want a baby. I want a baby. I want a baby. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It is not time for that for me. I, how am I? I got about, I got, I'm going to give myself two years to make that decision. But with the ones I got, you cannot, boy, you can, you know, you got to discipline children. So you can fuss at them, tell them what they're supposed to do, whatever. And it's like right after that, they still love you. <laughs> or like during that, they still love you. You just have to, your job is to, to raise them and discipline them and make sure they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And um, ah, it's a wonderful feeling. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is. Mm. I, I'm glad I got out of the fear of it. Or I'm glad I met a woman that, you know, already went through the process. And maybe God, like, she going to help you through this process. I don't know. But I used to be so afraid of it. I used to think I was going to be such a bad mom. And I am a great mama. Nobody will be able to tell me any different. You know what I'm saying? So, a bitch is happy. And you bring a toy home or just, like just you they love you bro they just love the shit out you like i don't need a haircut i don't need nothing. to be dripped in Dior. i don't need the jewelry i don't need, you don't need the cars shit. like they just love you 
for you, like, and I feel like that's the most beautiful thing in the world, bro. For real, for real. Like, the joy they bring you, the joy they have is so innocent, you know? Yeah. It's such a shame we gotta grow up and all of that kind of, you know, kind of goes away. But that's what I love about being a dad. It's like, you just don't, you could just be yourself and they love you, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the most beautiful part about it. How's it been trying to build your clothing brand? It's been a roller coaster, yeah. It's been a real roller coaster. It's like every time, like I was so close to dropping on my birthday, and then like the the graphic designer that I had, just like I'm, I'm very understanding, but like his brand, like I think he had a a death in the family and then I lost his number and then he never wrote me again. So it's like, I, bro, I lost all my graphic designs, bro. Literally lost all my graphic designs, bro. And now I have to try to do the same thing. Man, bro, this shit make me emotional, bro. Cause I be, tr I be trying, bro. And it's hard, it's hard without any help, bro. I'm trying to do exactly what Kanye is doing or fucking St. John is doing or Jerry Lorenzo's doing, but I'm it's just me, bro. Damn, you feel me? That shit get hard, but and y'all know, y'all know how much this shit mean to me. You feel me? Nigga, we waiting. I know I've been waiting, but I get it. Like you it take years to really, really do some shit. And maybe it just ain't the time for him to do it yet. And and, and that's the shit that be sounding crazy. You you don't want to hear that shit when people tell you that shit. Nah, shut your ass up, nigga. It's time when I say it's time. But, um, nah. I've been trying to do the same shit for so long. And now I do it so fluently. It's like maybe it just wasn't my time then. But I promise when his time come, it's going to be fluent. And then that shit going to pop. Then he going to make a million dollars in a day. Like, uh, like Greg. Uh, G. Suwu. Y'all know that man made a million dollars? He shut down his website for three months to move his inventory. And he said when he get back, he gonna make a million dollars in one day. And he did. It's just, he be all right. It hurts, bro, but I'm gonna keep going. You know what I'm saying? I just posted the other day. I feel like I got like two solid graphic designers that I could rely on and just work with. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to try to recreate what I already did. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have none of the files. I don't have none of the graphics. I don't have nothing, bro. So it's like I couldn't even drop on my birthday. And it's like I'm the one that got to deal with the pressure. I'm the one that got to deal with the questions. Where's this on? But like, you don't do nothing but YouTube. Oh, you lazy. You don't want to do your clothes. But it's, bro, it's hard, bro. It's hard. But I'm uh, I'm gonna continue to keep my head up, bro, and just keep working. I'm gonna do it again. Now the seasons have changed, so now what I had for Ooh. winter probably isn't gonna work for the summer now. So now I gotta create. It's like, bro, I need a team, but if I don't have a team, I can't stop until I get a team. So I'm gonna just keep doing it, man. I'm getting back to the drawing board. I'm gonna probably maybe hopefully try to keep the same designs, but. You could pay a motherfucker to do what they do best, and they still can't do that. That's why he need to get his ass on Fiverr. Um, but that team shit, y'all, is the worst shit you could ever go through. I'm not gonna lie, cause you always feel like you need somebody, and I mean, some with 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 some business ventures, you need somebody. I ain't gonna lie. With this clothing, with clothing, ah. I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried again. Y'all, y'all know how many, how many, um, fucking, what you call that shit? Like how many sands I have that should be on shirts, but I am just not good with drop shipping. I, I don't want to print this shit. I don't, I'll be lying if I said I did because it's too much fucking work. On top of being a YouTuber, on top of now being a parent, and then on top of being a girlfriend, it is entirely too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So YouTube is a job in itself, and that's something that I have not been respecting these past few years. 
It's a job. And you really, really, really got to treat that shit consistently every day. If I go to Chipotle and I got to put the same ingredients in the same motherfucking um, guacamole every day, that's how I got to do my YouTube channel. So, and I, a bitch like me got the nerve to have multiple YouTube channels. So, y'all, oh my God. Put it on summer clothes, maybe, but I'm not sure, y'all. I'm not sure, but I know I've already started designing again. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to design every day for about an hour or two. So I have designs, you know what I'm saying, that I could probably put on summer clothes. But it, what I wanted to release on my birthday, I had all my focus on that. And now it's just not. Nothing's wrong with him being a YouTuber. He just got pressure on him because everybody know what he's worth with the clothes. People like people like to put pressure on you, but not knowing what the fuck you got going on behind your damn behind closed doors. That like just fuck that now, bro. You gotta do this, but fuck it, man. We all go through obstacles in life. You can't put your head down and give up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely not the one to give up. Y'all gonna see some clothes. I promise you, bro. That's all I want to. That's that's all I want to do, man. But yep. That's, that's what's going on with Design by White, man. I know I don't express this to y'all today. I know y'all probably really don't care. Y'all just want to see the clothes, but I'm trying, y'all. I promise you I'm trying. How to overcome financial hardships in a time of need. I would say try to work on discipline, y'all. Discipline is the key to everything. Like, I feel like it's the key to success. Like In the beginning, when I first started YouTube, I was so disciplined on doing YouTube. I did YouTube every single day, you know what I'm saying? So that's I feel like that's how I built my... Even though I got that push from Queen and got that push for my story, I did YouTube every single day, bro. You know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of people that have been around Queen and been around and they don't have 3 million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? They not getting 500k views on videos. They not, but I, I built that. You know what I'm saying? I built that. But yeah, bro, just discipline. I'm far from being like broke or, or in need. And I still act like it ain't even just a built that I, I can't take away from he built that I can't take away from that. Um, but I'm not going to lie. Their story helped everything. Their story. It ain't even just like a, 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 a queen just put everybody on thing. Their story helped that, you know, and, 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 and everybody don't have that story. You know what I'm saying? You can, I am on YouTube consistently all the motherfucking time, okay? But it's a certain thing you got to do, certain way you got to move to to be successful. But not only that, him and Queen is two attractive motherfuckers. I mean, let's call it a spade a spade. Um, and not saying I'm not attractive. It's just everybody got a different story. I'll never be mad at that nigga for expeditiously running past my ass because I've been on YouTube for five years. That's just not how that works. It is what it is. His story was better. Next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His story was better. That's why I don't worry about other people. You know, I don't worry about other people. I worry about me. You know what I'm saying? And um, one day everybody going to be where they need to be. I actually had a talk with my good friend Mendices. I don't know if you know him. Yandy and Mendices. I had a talk with him. Yeah, saying he said that I have broke nigga syndrome, and like I'm now realizing that I have broke nigga syndrome. This is way off topic too. I have broke nigga syndrome. He said he used to have it too, but I have to work my way out of it, and I'm working my way out of it. But basically, broke nigga syndrome is when you get you some money and you just want to hold it. You know what I'm saying you don't want to spend it, you don't want to invest it, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. It's because you're like you're scared to go broke, you know what I mean? And I'm far from it. I mean, I have accounts over a million dollars, you know what I'm saying? I have multiple accounts. Like, I'm doing very well for myself, I'm very proud of myself, but I gotta get out of that. I gotta take that risk and buy that building. I gotta take that risk. Your story will be great to friend. Thank you, friend. Risk and buy that office. I gotta take that risk and buy that NFT. I gotta take that yeah, risk and buy, buy crypto. NFT. I got to. I got to, bro. You gotta believe me. I need to figure out what the NFT is. Okay. So, bro, I didn't even know that was a syndrome. I got broke nigga syndrome. <laughs> like, bro, you know what I'm saying? But I'm getting out of that. I've already started looking at properties, bro. I'm gonna go. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing to lose. But yeah, just discipline, y'all. That, that question will be discipline. I got real off topic on that one. What's the main thing that you think makes a relationship last? 
I think the main thing that makes a relationship last is communication, understanding, letting your partner be them. I feel like in every relationship I've That's been in, important. I feel like I had to change a little. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I had to change to be with that person. And with Queen, she allows me to be myself. Again, she allows me to make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I've made mistakes. I've made, you know what I'm saying? And she just supports me. And what I do, same with her. I let her make mistakes. I'm very understanding. I'm very like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sweating her. I'm not like making sure she covers herself up or make sure she doesn't go to the studio with this rapper. Like, just think of, all right, me as a person, just use our, our situation like example. Think of an artist, right? Queen is an artist. Think about the pressure that she has to go through and the amount of nervousness she has to go through going to the studio with maybe a rapper, right? And now, on top of that, making a good song with this rapper. Do you think me stressing her about, yo, wear this, cover this up, uh, who's gonna be there, who's there, uh, FaceTime me, do you much. think me doing that helps? her not be nervous and not make good music or do you think that hurts? You know what I'm saying? Do you think if like I'm doing YouTube collab with like a female and she's behind- I'm sorry, this is off topic of what he's talking about now, but that broke nigga syndrome shit. See, the thing about me, I will spend money. Y'all, this whole setup that I have, I was spending till I was broke on this motherfucker. Literally, I don't regret it at all because now I don't need nothing. I want that Sony A7 uh, one, but I don't need it. I have, <laughs> I have everything. But I swear, y'all, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm the type that'll go broke on the investment, and um, I don't be knowing if that's smart or dumb, honestly. But the investment that I did make is paying the fuck off now. You know what I'm saying? I needed this. I needed this so bad. Every every dime I got that was outside of bills, I was buying uh, my equipment. I was making sure I was taking care of what I needed to take care of. And this is just for YouTube, man. You know what I'm saying? But even with the, uh, you know, printing t-shirts and shit like that, like I I always invest, but I, I, I need to get into crypto more. I just need a better understanding of it. Um, I need I need crypto friends. I need NFT friends uh, and shit like that, but yeah. Under me, and do you think that helps or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, we let each other be ourselves is all. I think that's the biggest, I think that's the biggest key, bro. Who is the most influential person in your life? I don't think there's just one person. I think there's a couple people and they probably don't even think they motivate me, but they do. And they definitely motivate me, like influence me to just keep going, try new things. I would say it would be, Queen, obviously, you know what I'm saying? If your partner doesn't influence or motivate you, I don't know what you're doing with that person. Uh, but the people that probably don't even think they motivate me, I think Deshay, Deshay Frost, my good friend Deshay, D-E-G, like Dub, Austin McBroom, all of these people, I don't even think they know it. Like these are my friends and we don't even get to talk like that in that kind of way, but they influence and motivate me to just keep going and keep doing what I, you know what I'm saying? Like I see them working, oh shit, where I'm gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, they trying new things. Y'all know I've been wanting to do the podcast. I seen Deshay and Dub do the podcast. Now I'm about to get on that. You know what I'm saying? Like Word. I love it. Like they just motivate me. I told Deshay that the Damn, that nigga ain't say can. They, you know what I'm saying? Like you keep doing what you're doing, bro. You have no idea how you may influence people that you may not even know you influence and motivate. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I love that. So that podcast is coming soon, but I'm pretty sure they don't even know they motivate or influence me in that way. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my niggas. Shout out to my niggas, B. How many Questions, I hope he does the podcast with Mod. You know, that'll put a coin on your mind. You know what I'm saying? This video long as hell. Bro. He ain't never okay, lied, nigga. Why are you so cocky and not humble? God could take everything you have away just like that. I feel like that's the biggest misconception of me. If you've met me, you know I'm not cocky. I've been labeled as materialistic. I'm not that. Just because I have nice things and it seems like other people is not buying the nice things that I have doesn't mean I'm materialistic, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not cocky. I'm very confident though. And I feel like when you call me cocky or you tell me to be humble, you're trying to you down me. I feel yep. like it's disrespectful to tell me to be humble. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Because I was broke. You're not telling if me I didn't have all this, if I take all this off, if I wasn't here, 
y'all be calling me a bum ass nigga. Facts. Right? <laughs> Let me take off the glasses. If I wasn't here, I didn't have these things. You guys be calling me a bum ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this nigga been with Queen for this long and don't even have a bust down. Nigga get a bust down. Damn. Now all he want to show us his bust down. Like, shut the fuck up. You cannot listen to people. But one thing I can say is meeting this nigga, he's not. He's not uh, a cocky person. He's very respectful. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he really will tell you how he feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I've never looked at people in a jealous way. I, I never, you know, I used to never say never. I hate that saying too. N nigga, never. I don't look at people in that, in that way. I don't. I, man, I got too much to focus on with me to give a fuck about you. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm a I'm a big up though, boy. Boy, you done your thing, boy. You look good. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. I I ain't never been a hater, bro. Never. That's why I can do this shit. You know what I'm saying? React to other people, living their best fucking life. People can't do this shit. That's why you got so many hating ass reaction channels. It won't be me. <laughs> Damn. And so it's like I can't make everybody happy, sweetheart. What's your name? What's your name, Shorty? Riley's mom. I'm sorry. I can't make everybody happy. I'm sorry that you think that way. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people that I motivate. There's a lot of people that look up to me. And I think a lot of people would disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sorry I couldn't make I'm you sorry. happy. I really do. I would love to explain to you, like, you know what I'm saying? You can talk to me. You can DM me. You can ask me, why are you so cocky? Maybe you should be more confident. Maybe you should believe in yourself more. You think the most successful people in the world got there by being humble? humble? Like, I hate the word humble. You can't. You cannot be successful by being humble. Y'all think Jake Paul would be where he at if he wasn't being Jake Paul? Hell no. Nah. Niggas. It's, yo, that's why I'm switching up the way I do everything. I, I'm not even going to like, I'm not going to be like, I'm going to wait till January 1st, 2022. To, no, I've been started doing what I'm supposed to do to elevate to be where I want to be. But we only got a few more days left of this year. That's why I speak of 2022. But, yeah. Bro, you have to be somewhat cocky and confident to make it to be successful. You got to. You know what cocky is? Cocky is to. believing in yourself when others don't. Being cocky is when the world is saying I'm a bum. And I'm saying, no, I'm not. Fuck Period. Me, bro. Take that out. I feel like it's That's only our fact. culture that uses that, bro. Be humble. Why should I be humble so you can feel more comfortable about yourself? <laughs> you know what I mean? The world is crazy, bro. Has I anybody agree. noticed y'all this vacation? Absolutely not one person, bro. Literally. That's why you haven't seen Beast with us. We was about to fly security out here. Security is a whole nother bag. Probably like, a, probably like four bands more on the vacation. This vacation is already, I'm not going to say the price, it's already past 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? So. We told him just to stay, bro, because where we're at, bro, we booked it and our travel agent said, well, dude, this is what Queen was telling me. She said, this is like the Beverly Hills of Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're here with like fucking, we're here with movie stars. We're here with doctors. We're here with like just really successful people that probably wouldn't even know who we are. You know what I'm saying? When I say I got to pee. Like, of course, we didn't believe her, you know what I'm saying? Because we get, we get noticed everywhere, Sitting but for an we're here, bro, Ooh. and literally no one has noticed us. Not to put this out there or anything, but we're the only black people here. Like, literally, I haven't seen, we're the only black couple here, bro. We stand out like a sore thumb here, but everybody's been cool, you know what I'm saying? They ask us what we do, and they ask us, like, for our businesses and what we got going. So everything's been cool, but, yeah, we haven't been noticed at all, bro. Like, literally at all. The last time we got noticed at the airport, that was it. We haven't got noticed in this place at all, which has been very refreshing, you know what I'm saying? This is the last question. Please. Yeah, this is the last question. How do you deal with the hate? Okay. What hate? I get hate. When I tell y'all, when I brought the shit up to that nigga, and they, people think I'm lying. That's the, the, the cute part, but oh, okay. Like I said, man, you know I don't be paying attention to none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I get hate? People hate me? I didn't even know. I didn't even, <laughs> like, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see that. Nigga don't see it. I didn't even know niggas hate me. Are you sure? I'm trying to tell you. Chris, do niggas hate me? Nigga don't even see that shit. I had no idea. My block level... And not C level. When I decide to give something attention, I really did that shit on purpose. 
Because I don't see it. I get zero notifications that come to my phone. Not am. Okay? And I choose to react to what I want to react to. I choose to give energy to what I want to give it to. Nothing is ever forced, though. Yeah, I got hate. Bro, let me know who hates me. I didn't know. I swear to God, I've never experienced hate in my life. I have no idea hate. That's yeah. crazy. Maybe I need to look deeper in myself. I didn't know people hate me. Wow. I might need to look more into that. But that's the last question, y'all. Yeah. That's my question to answer in Mexico. <sighs> All right, y'all, listen, I've been having a pee sitting here for an hour, you know, it, it hurts. But anyway, um, this is a good video. I'm glad he did this question and answer, bro. Um, but you know, that's all I got, y'all. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.